By default, the list report displays only one view of a table. In this video, I would like to show you how to define multiple views. There are two options available. The single table mode offers a single table instance, one table toolbar, and if activated, one table variant management. To switch between the views, a segmented button is rendered in the table toolbar. The multiple table mode offers a separate table for each view. There are separate table toolbars and separate table variant managements if activated. To implement multiple views in single table mode, Navigate to the back end and open the metadata extension file of your project. Add these lines to the file. You can see the qualifiers product type PR for displaying the products only and product type AD for displaying the advertisements. Here you set the filters for the tables. Don't forget to save and activate the file. In your web IDE workspace, open the manifest file of your project. Add the respective coding to the file. At this place, you want to use the filters you defined in the back end. Like this, the list report will display a multiple view in single table mode. Save the changes and run your app. Now you can see the product and advertisement filters that we've designed in the back end. They are displayed as buttons in the table toolbar. For the multiple table mode, navigate to your web IDE workspace and manifest file of your project again. In the coding we've already entered, add an X to quick variant selection. Again, save the changes and run the app. Now you can see the multiple table mode with separate table toolbars.